initially, of course, I didn't really know what this sound was, it's, but it's the just a duct, duct tape, tape being yeah. pulled up. <laughs> It is very scary. That Jeez, freaked me out when I first saw it. It almost sounds like he's breathing underneath it as well. We don't know if he's dead or what. The lips. Your secret friend. Look at that, you can see here. So this is what he's reading out. Um, Jeffrey Wright's reading this out. It says, but you can see under there's like those cryptic clues yeah. and he's reading out a riddle, you know, it rhymes and it's um, a, a mystery. And it is addressed to the Batman. And I'm guessing a, there's like a Reddit somewhere that's already... Analyze all this. Analyzed all that. Uh, if anyone, <laughs> go down that. Yeah, yeah. If anyone's <laughs> listening to uh, this, a great. My favorite podcast is the Weekly Planet, and um, uh, also Mr. Sunday Movies. He's got his own YouTube channel, and uh, me and after this is after this podcast is over, I'm actually going to force you to watch it, Ty, basically because it, uh, I love their dynamic and analysis of this. But Thank here's you. the first. We had seen, I think, before this trailer, we had seen the Batman before. But that is your first look at the That's new Batman. Off. Yeah, very um, first look at him. What do you think? <sighs> he looks weirder than. He looks weirder. Yeah. Well, I think every time I you find... see a new Batman suit, it does look different and, and weird. He's not. You, I think you're right. He's not as big. Like no. He, to be fair, he looks big. He looks there, big there. But that's, off, that's obviously if he's worked out and but the like, suit's bigger. In terms of like, he hasn't got like big white shoulders. Yeah, to, like, or you like know, a wide like back. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I, in terms of the suit, um, I initially didn't like it. The suit's growing on me, so hopefully that will probably do the same for hopefully. you. The thing that I still can't get over is the helmet. I think the helmet looks very stupid. It looks like cheap plastic. It looks like it's from the 1940s. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it, it, it just looks really weird. You couldn't tell that was Robert Pattinson as well. If I haven't told yeah. you, you wouldn't tell me. I would not have known, yeah. Yeah, or well, we'll carry it. Isn't that the idea of the mask, though? Obviously, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think with Chris, I think there's, you know, well, actually, I say that. I haven't looked at them, but um, do a good job of that. I'm just carrying on with the trailer here. It's, sorry, is that the, the Riddler guy? No, no, what, that big guy with that the guy, beard? Yeah. Oh, that? No, that no that's guy. Robert Pattinson. <laughs> Yeah, well, I think he's got the he's got the makeup around his eyes from where the bat. Okay. From, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It's definitely Robert Pattinson. You're becoming quite a celebrity. The voice you hear there is uh, the voice of Alfred, his butler. Alfred, yeah. That's played by Andy Circus. You'll know. Show me again. You'll know who Andy Circus is. He does, he does a lot of mo -cap, motion capture stuff. He's world renowned for it, but he is uh, a fantastic actor as well. Um, He's been in uh, the MCU. Um, you recognise him? He played Gollum in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Oh, no, you see that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. He's been in lots of stuff. We yeah. don't see him in the trailer, actually. Yeah. Why is he writing to you? And here's uh, a Catwoman. Catwoman, yeah. Um, you can see she hasn't really got an outfit on. It's just that. Who's the, who's playing? Um, I can't remember her name. We'll, we'll see when we go through the article, but okay. uh, I think you'd recognise her. That nobody really know, nobody knows for certain who this is. Um, we think, or um, I think it's Andy Circus. Uh, no, I'm not Andy Circus. Sorry, Colin Farrell. I think it's Colin Farrell in heavy prosthetic makeup because uh, Colin Farrell has been cast as the Penguin. The Penguin. Um, I was just about to see. And nobody he knows. Kind of looks like. Is. We don't know. We don't know. We'll find penguin out. Penguin from like. The 2004. Is it 2004 when they used to make the Batman cartoons? The cartoon. Oh, did you yeah. watch them? I yeah, haven't actually seen them. Oh, so that's how the penguin kind of looks yeah, like. The yeah, long yeah. pointy nose, pointy chin. Yeah, yeah and obviously uh, Colin Farrell is a skinny guy and the penguin's usually a short fat guy. So. Yeah. Yeah. And that kind of sentence there, which is like, if you're justice, please don't lie. That's against, obviously, Batman is a vigilante. Yeah. Um, and... The, the villains in this taking opposed to 
Batman's stance rather than just being villains. You know, they're against. He's this guy's he's obviously against, against the Batman. Yeah. Um, by saying, you know, don't lie or whatever he finds fault with the Batman because he's taken the position of being authority in Gotham. I like that. I like that they've changed like the narrative in the movies like that mm. rather than you know the good guy and the bad guy. Well, of course, like, yeah. You look at the good, the good guy in a Batman. You know, mm, well, Batman's always he's, been. Obviously, he's not really a good guy, is he? Because he's no. just vigilante. He's justice, been on the you know? line of yeah. you know good and bad. And who is him to decide? Like, you know. So yeah. I, but I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, now. it's just where, like <laughs> in Gotham, you know, in the in the comics as well, with Batman. It's like Gotham is so corrupt that the good guys, like the police that we yeah. would associate in our in the real world, they're not the good guys. Yeah. Apart from Jim Gordon, um, yeah. who's played by Jeffrey Wright in this. And a select few people that want to clean Gotham up. So, yeah. What is the price for your blind eye? The hell are you supposed to be? You know what? Ow. At least he's better at the stunt and the fighting stunt. Than who? Christian Bale. What, you thought, was he bad? He I, was bad. It was, was so choreographed. I hated it. I really? hate like, all the fight scenes. I, I, I can't. I can't. I mean, if you remember when he just fought, just before Bale, uh, Bane sent him away to, to the prison, they mm. had like a fight. And I I hate that scene every time. Really? It's just I, I like Bane's so... speech in it, though. Bane's I like Bane's speech, yeah, Bane's speech but the it. fight in itself, and it's... It just didn't seem natural. It just didn't seem... Fair enough. I haven't actually focused on that before. So maybe that'd be something that... <laughs> I also love that they, they put this scene in. People were saying, right, Robert Pattinson is... He's not a big guy. Like, he's a skinny guy. Yeah. He's a skinny, like, whatever. Um, how is he going to do damage? And then they just put this scene in of him absolutely thwacking this guy. Way too many punches. <laughs> punches are overthrown as well. Like, when he... The punch he throws to put him to the ground. Yeah. It's like... All of his weight is yeah. in that punch. And then two more just for good luck. Like, we're watching it again. But it is... Ooh. It's... It's quick as well. So it's like... It, you know, if you're talking about choreographed fighting, this is so yeah, quick that if so you were the thug here, you couldn't do anything about you really that. You know, yeah. you break... Twitch his arm and the punches are so quick that it's not... You know, it, to me, it seems so really good that- and raw. Yeah, I guess that kind of makes up for him not being big. Yeah, well, they just they want to show that actually. Yeah. Oh, what you've been saying he's skinny. Well, we're just gonna, <laughs> we're just gonna put a trailer in here of him beating the living hell out of this one guy. New Batmobile as well. It looks Ooh. very much like an old, you know, uh, an old, you, th- you think about Christian I Bale's like Bat- Christian Bale's Batmobile is the new is like a tank from the army. Yeah, um, this is. Very old school. Yeah, kind old of. school. You can see it's all exposed with the engine and it's very stylistic. Almost looks like an old sports car. Um, Is that flames underneath the bonnet? Under the bonnet? No, I think I'm up. Oh, oh, it wow. Is. I hadn't seen it before. Oof. Okay. Yeah, I know. If, <laughs> if people are listening to the podcast, by the way, sorry, you can't see the visual. We are just yeah. watching the trailer. It's... Um, if you're listening on YouTube, I'll try and remember to put images up, but I probably won't be. I probably can't be asked. To be fair, so um, just watch the trailer. But yeah, that's something I hadn't seen before. And then the logo at the end is very cartoony, you know, isn't it? Like, you know, just before we started this, I said. That the title of it is very boring. Mm. I'll take that back. You take that back. Just yeah, you Batman better eat your words. I've seen, <laughs> <laughs> seen good... that. Okay, yeah. yeah. It's, it's not that dry anymore. <laughs> yeah, I love I love this trailer. There's also the question marks of the twos when it comes yeah. up with date, indicating again towards the Riddler. Um, yeah, I love that. I love that trailer so much. I also wow. am very looking forward to um, the fact that it's a mystery. 